What matters here right now is that Philadelphia is in a good spot to handle this. They're in a good spot because they have a great football team. They're in a good spot because the roster is loaded. They're in a good spot because Gardner Minshew has two years in the Sirianni system and a couple of starts under his belt. You forget, he had to play last year, right? And he's young. He's a gunslinger. The guys like him. They're in a very good spot for this. The question really, and they're also, let's just keep going here. They have five weeks until they play a meaningful game. If they win one of their next three games, Philadelphia one seed lock, NFC East lock, they will host a playoff game. The entire NFC will go through Philadelphia. That means we're five weeks away from a meaningful football game. So even if this is a two to three week injury, a month injury, he has five weeks, a month and a quarter, right? One, two, three, four, five to get ready and get healthy. So he should be 100% okay by the time the playoffs come. The question is going to be, what happens on Saturday with Gardner Minshew? How long will Gardner Minshew go ahead and start? And of course, more importantly, what is the situation in terms of going forward um, with the state of, 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 of Minshew versus Hertz in terms of long-term situation? Uh, you know, you want to rush Hertz back the way he gets some rust off of him. Do you want to keep letting him wait going back and forth? That is going to be the real question overall. This is true. And again, super chats go right to the front. He threw dimes after that tackle. He did. And that's why I knew it wasn't a break. When the initial thing came out and it was like, oh, he has a broken collarbone. There was some guy, some local beat reporter from ABC News who said it was a broken collarbone. You knew that this was impossible because of what Henrock just said, right? You knew this was 100% impossible because of what Henrock was able to say. And that is that he was throwing dimes literally after in the fourth quarter. I mean, that, that, that A.J. Brown pass came after the injury supposedly happened. So he should be good to go. Um, let's see here. The Eagles are not faking this injury. Why? Why would they fake this injury? Seriously, someone t someone tell me in the comments why they would fake this injury. Um, I'm trying to figure out if it's right or left shoulder. Okay, here we go. Breaking news. It is the right shoulder. Jeff McClain from the Inquirer. Again, I can't share my screen, so you can see it right there. There it is. It's Jalen Hurts' right throwing shoulder. My bad. All right. There you go. It's official. Right shoulder. Who, who told Jeff McClain it was the left shoulder? Jeff, I mean, come on, Jeff. We got to figure this stuff out. All right. Right shoulder. No, I don't think he's going to play Saturday. I don't think so. No, I don't think he's going to play Saturday. I think he's out Saturday. Um, yeah, negative in terms of a broke. No, guys, listen. Okay, we got to be very clear about this. You still have to beat the Cowboys. You got to win one of your final three games. So why not just win on Saturday with Minshew and all the starters Lock up the one seed, and then you can rest and do whatever you want in terms of getting her healthy and resting starters, blah, 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 the final two weeks of the season, right? Um, yes. Yes. Please put my text on the screen. Well, I mean, you could super chat. That would do it. <laughs> uh, no, he's not playing Saturday. He's not playing Saturday. Yeah, uh, listen, you are right about this. Like, uh, who, who does care about Saturday now? No, it's not a big deal. But you still want to try and win that game because you can lock the division up even sooner. Because the worst-case scenario right now is that Hurts is obviously out for an extended period of time, a couple of weeks. You lose Saturday to Dallas. You lose Sunday to the Saints. Then you have to beat the Giants Week 18 to lock up the one seed, right? they got to figure out a way to win one game in the next three, which is easy. They should be able to do it. But still, um, it's a situation where they need to win. It is his, it, yes, it is his throwing arm. We can officially put that to bed. It is his throwing arm, and 100% uh, it is going to be that that situation. Um, sprains take forever to heal. Listen, all sprains are different, right? It's not, uh, it's, it, all sprains are different. It could be a really, really, really minor thing, or it could be a little bit, you know, worse of a sprain. It's going to take some you know, rehab, according to you know, everything I'm ever seeing on Twitter from reliable sources, but it's not a, like, a serious long-term situation. And again, Gardner Minshew should be good to go. Thumbs up if you guys feel like Gardner Minshew is going to be good to go. I think he's going to be absolutely fine uh, and okay in terms of uh, going forward. I think he's going to be 100% good to go, and there should be absolutely no worries from that situation. Okay, trying to get some updates here. Um, let's see. Keep giving me questions down below. We will keep talking about it. This is a good one from Elliot Short, uh, Elliot Short Parks of 94.1 WIP. We'll show you guys this one. Look at that. Eagles went to Dallas on Christmas Eve, 2006. Backup quarterback Jeff Garcia and won. Clinched your playoff spot, setting them up to win the NFC. Remember, there you go. Look at that. History lesson. Where were you in 2006? I was, uh, I was 10. I was 10 years old, but I remember that game. That was the, that was the Jeff Garcia game. So there you go. How about that? Um, let's see. Uh, I bet he's back versus Saints. Yeah, 
I, I that that would make sense, right? Maybe the Saints. That way, you at least give him, you know, a game to prove 100% that he's healthy. That's two weeks from now, which is a long time, and then you can go forward from there and be okay. Um, it's I, I don't know the answer to this. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that uh, I, I think it's not as bad. Um, where are we at here? I was 44 in 2006. Yeah, a little older than I was. Still young. 44 is the new 30, right? Uh, this is a good question. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's see here. We need a backup throw. Who we got a quarterback? Uh, Ian Book is your third string quarterback. Remember him? The Notre Dame quarterback, Ian Book. They signed him off waivers because he was cut. He Someone drafted him, then he was cut. He's been inactive basically the entire um, season because Philly doesn't need him, but he will be active on Saturday. Mark my words. Um, cover, Charles, yes, it's it's confirmed. It's not a long-term serious injury. According to everyone that that that, that is in the know, way more than I am, because they're actually in the locker rooms and texting people. Um, yeah, it's 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 not that long term. Yes, I would definitely start Miles Sanders in every single one of your fantasy games, uh, or every single one of your fantasy leagues, because they're gonna feed him an insane amount of uh touches in, on, on Saturday, I would bet. Uh, yes, the Saints. That's right. Book what's cut by uh, the Saints overall. All right, if you guys, again, thumbs up, up the show. Subscribe down below as well. If you are new to the Thomas Mott Show, you can go back through a lot of the shows that we've done the past couple of weeks. We love the Eagles. Obviously, you see that here. We talk about the NFL in general. If you guys want to subscribe, I would greatly appreciate that. Hit the join button as well. You can join the channel and help support it that way uh, as well. Is Hurts hurt? Yes. Yes, Jane. Hurts is hurt. Yes. If you're just joining us. He has a sprained right shoulder. Um, <laughs> Captain, I no, come on. They got to give him the ball more, right? Uh, yeah, let's, let's talk about this. Yes, this will hurt his MVP chances and it stinks. It's really dumb. But if you're going to compare Mahomes' stats versus Hertz's stats, Hertz's stats will take a hit if he doesn't play the next three games. We're going to play the next two games, right? And there was still an argument to where Patrick Mahomes has a better overall stats, passing stats, even though I think that's a dumb argument, but it's very clear Mahomes is probably going to win the NFL MVP. But let's just put an asterisk by it, right? I... I think they're going to be, I, I think Hertz should still win it. But at the same time, um, you can definitely put an asterisk by it because uh, I, you know, probably going to be Mitchell. We want to play Hertz. I know you do, uh, Cowboy fan. I know you do. But sorry, you're going to get uh, Gardner Minshew, who, as Blade just said, is more than capable. And he's not worried at all. And I'm not worried at all. They're going to be just fine. Absolutely just fine. Yeah, this is facts. Wouldn't it be fun, though? Right? Think about this. So Dallas needs to win on Saturday, right? Because there is a scenario where if Dallas doesn't win the next three games, they fall out of the five seed. They could be the seven seed, right? Like real nightmare stuff for the Dallas Cowboys. Imagine Christmas Eve, right? The Cowboys just lost in overtime to the Jacksonville Jaguars, right? No Jalen Hurts. So the NFL MVP not playing against you. And in walks Gardner Minshew rocking aviator sunglasses and his Tom Cruise Top Gun jacket in your stadium and dominates you. Wouldn't that be something? Right, you're a cowboy fan. You probably, uh, you know, bought these tickets for your kids. It's like, oh, here's your Christmas Eve gift. You're going to Eagles Cowboys. Get excited, and then you watch Gardner Minshew spank you on Saturday. That would be the ultimate Christmas gift. Ultimate Christmas gift. No, okay, they need to win one of the next three, right? For all you cowboy fans hovering around here, and you got to win one of the next three. Uh, very little, very little. Now, obviously, a lot of the RPO stuff comes a little bit less because Gardner Minshew is not a Jalen Hurts in terms of running the football, but they're going to keep the game plan very similar. I mean, think about what they did with Nick Foles, right? Nick Foles comes in. They run a very similar offense because they were running RPOs with Carson Wentz, but they tweak it to do things that Nick Foles likes best. And so you bet your bottom dollar that right now, literally right now, and probably for the, the entire day, they've been going back through all the plays, talking with Garner Minshew, trying to figure out what Minshew likes best, what he does best, and that's the offense they will then build around him. This is a very fluid offense. This is an offense that can... It can go both ways. I mean, it's. I mean, you can be a run-heavy offense. You can be a pass-heavy offense. They're going to do everything they can to get Gardner Minshew not only ready for Saturday, but ready to thrive on Saturday. I think he has a really good chance of doing so. I really do. I think he's going to be really, really good. Um, yes, they clinched, but they could still be the seventh seed, right? There's a scenario where Dallas could fall back from the five seed, right? Because right now, it's most likely Dallas is the five seed, setting up, you know, the wild card round, visit to Tom Brady and the, the, the NFC South champs. If they lose out, though... And they play Tennessee Thursday night in, you know, a week and a half, right? So it's not that simple. They could very easily fall out of the uh, number five seed. This is true. Yes. Um, my own team, I wanted that. I would go to my own. Okay, let's see. 
bring up Trey Sermon? I mean, they might, but I mean, they got Gainwell, they got Boston Scott. They obviously have, uh, uh, what's his face? Miles Sanders. They're going to be just fine. All right, be sure to thumbs up, like the show. How many thumbs up are we at here? I, want, I mean, we should be able to get to 700 thumbs up, right? We would 100% should be able to get to 700 thumbs up. Let's see how many thumbs up we're having. Uh, 166. Everybody go hit the thumbs up button down below. Thumbs up, please. It helped the show. Um, he could be. I mean, yeah, he's a backup quarterback. But think about what happened when uh, Nick Foles came in. Remember, Nick Foles comes in. He not only finishes the game against the Rams. He wins that football game. It's a couple of big throws on third down. I think the AT Alshon Jeffrey. He then starts the next week on the road against the Giants. I think he threw four touchdowns. It was either three or four. He balled out in that game. The rust came against the Raiders on Christmas Day, and that was that night game on Christmas Day. They had to win to go ahead and lock up the NFC East in the number one overall seed. Very similar situations, right? So Foles was not rusty early. Then he was rusty. You can argue he was rusty in that Falcon game of the Falcon defense. The divisional round was pretty good. Then he balled out, and then he got hot, right? So it kind of goes back and forth. Uh, KG the Great Super Chat, my man. Gardner Manchu, steaming Willie beaming. There you go. Hopefully. Hopefully he's going to be, uh, yeah, I think he's, he's going to ball out. Yeah. He did play man. You remember the jets game last week? And I appreciate the super chat, by the way, that really helps the show. Uh, last season versus the jets. He did play well. Minshew. I think that he can win. And I think this is right here from Richard. I think oh, who honestly cares about the MVP? Uh, it's super bowl or bust. It is. I mean, it really is right. It, it truly is super bowl or bust right now. NFL MVPs are great, and I think that Jalen Hurst deserves it. I think if you play as well as he has, he should win the NFL MVP. Think about last night, Eagle quarterback. I mean, come on. It's a really big award. But what really matters is win the Super Bowl. So this whole idea of, is the NFL MVP gone? How crazy? Blah, blah, blah. No, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I, th I think it really – and if, I think, honestly, if you hook Jalen Hurts up to a lie detector and you asked him, Jalen, like genuinely, do MVP or Super Bowl, there would not even be a hitch in his step to say he wants to win a Super Bowl over NFL MVP. Yes, please hit the thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Maybe a lot of new people watching this show. Be sure to subscribe. Uh, Nick Foles is a cult. Um, yeah, this is facts. This is very true. Beat the Cowboys with Thomas Mott playing quarterback. Yes, we could. 100%. Yes. <laughs> I was a uh, I was a, uh, a great quarterback in intramural uh, college flag football, so I could probably do it. And the Cowboys blew a 17-point lead to the Jaguars yesterday. Are we forgetting that? And they almost lost to the Texans two weeks ago. I could beat them. Big Z with a two. I appreciate Big Z. We got the MVP. We win the Super Bowl MVP. Great point. I think I'd much rather take that. I mean, Aaron Rodgers would probably give up a lot of his MVPs. What has he won for? For a lot more Super Bowl MVPs. Just saying. I agree. Appreciate that, Big Z. Uh, Yeah. I mean, Gardner Minshew was a starter, right? So we do, what's the comparison here, right? Yeah, this this is this is it right here from 007. This is James Bond talking right here. This is Lily James Bond. Eagles clinch in Dallas. Now, imagine that as your headline, but it's Gardner Minshew clinches NFC East and one seed in Dallas. Talk about humiliation for the Dallas Cowboys. That's the fun part, humiliation. Jacob says Thomas Mott is slow to get the ball to A.J. Brown. I am not slow. I run a 4-3-40. That's facts. And uh, I threw seven touchdown passes in one game in intramural flag football. So um, let's see here. Yeah, this is true. This is true. Let's do a live Twitter update here because, again, I can't share my screen because this MacBook is uh, the worst. Let's see if there's any more updates on Jalen Hurts before we go ahead and wrap things up. I'll keep answering questions. Um, let's see here. Is there any more update on Jalen Hurts? I don't think so. I think we know for sure it's the right. Uh, and I think for sure it's uh, going to be Minshew for the next couple of weeks. I think it's that simple. I don't see anything here. Kendu Williamson, $5 Super Chat. I appreciate you. Hopefully Goddard is good to go. Um, everything I have heard is that he should be good to go. He should be good to go. And that is good news for Philadelphia. Now, again, it's 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 one thing or another, right? Do you do you rush him back? Like, let's just let's just talk about Goddard right now, real quick. Do you rush Goddard back to play Saturday to help out Gardner Minshew, right? Another weapon, you know, because Calcaterra and Stoll haven't been that great in terms of pass catching. Not bad, but not great. Or do you, if he's not ready, and we don't know, we know if and or but if he's going to play or not, do you let Dallas Goddard sit another week and bring him back when he's 100%? Because, again, the point here is not going 16-1. and one. The point here is winning one of your next three games, locking up the NFC East, locking up the number one seed. And then, you know, the only game that matters is the one on January 20th. That's the only one that matters. Um, uh, 
I appreciate this from here, from Derek. Derek, you are the man. Thomas, taking the time to bring us the news live. At least we do something with the video. Let's go, guys. Hit that thumbs up. I appreciate you, Thomas. Derek, I appreciate that big time. Yeah, I'm jumping on here, right? And I'm, I'm, I'm not home. I'm not in my – normally I'm in a studio, right? I got all the cameras and the lights and stuff like that. I mean, we are like – I jumped on here as quickly as possible to give you guys the news, and I appreciate the uh, uh, the recognition there from Derek. That is uh, great. I mean, I have this dorky little ring light here. Like, like, look, this is all I have. It's this little tiny ring light. That's all we're using. And we're just sitting here with whatever this is. So I'm at my girlfriend's house, whatever that is. It's Leafs, I guess. Derek, I appreciate you. Uh, let's see here. Primetime poker. He says, Minshew, 22 of 30, 245. This, how about that? It's possible, right? I mean, it's totally possible. We forget that Gardner Minshew has had moments in here. He has had moments. Moments where he has balled out. You know what? Let's see some Gardner Minshew stats here. Minshew stats. I wish I could pull it up on my screen, but I, again, I'm on the stupid MacBook Pro, and uh, it's not letting me, and so let's just try and read it here on the fly. Minshew stats. He's had some games, guys. He's had some really good games. Let's go back to his couple of games in Philadelphia. He started three games, or played in three games. He had a 50... No, this is not right. Sorry, 2021. Let's just get this right. 2021, Minshew stats. One and one. 68% completion percentage. 439 yards, four touchdowns, one pick. There's your stats for Gardner Minshew in two starts last year. Two starts, four touchdowns, one pick. Primetime poker is 100% right with the Super Chat. I appreciate that. This could really be um, the line here. It could be. Why not? Why not? Minshew mania, baby. And wouldn't it be fun if uh, you got to this point where Gardner Minshew locks it up against the Dallas Cowboys? Imagine the Imagine ESPN's first take Monday morning, right, after Christmas. Stephen A. Smith ripping the Cowboys for not being able to beat Gardner Minshew and the Eagles at their own home turf. Paige Harris says, I love the background picture. Do you? I think it's nice. Whoever whoever designed this and then my girlfriend bought it, uh, I think it's a great background picture. Lori M., the background picture is gorgeous. I am not hating on it. I'm just like, I mean, it's just like leaves and stuff. It's not my normal background. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, look, this is over here too. See, I'm at, I'm at my uh, girlfriend's place and there's just random stuff on the desk because I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible. That's facts. The four touchdowns, one pick. Don't include AJ as a target. Yeah, who was Gardner Minshew throwing to last year? Rookie Devontae Smith. Who was the number two receiver last year? Quez Watkins, right? I mean, come on. Let's be real. Uh, played near perfect game, was over by half. That's facts. Amit was facts there. Spitting facts about, you know, I'm pumped for Gardner Minshew. I'm going to buy aviators. I mean, I'm, I'm going to go to aviators. Someone super chats me 200 bucks right now. I'll go buy aviators right now. Just to rock them for Gardner Minshew. Just to rock them for Gardner Minshew. Oh, my goodness. Let's do a Twitter update here just to make sure nothing new has happened. I'm trying to get you guys this stuff as quickly as it comes. Um, let's see here. See, like, this is tweet saying the Eagles season was too good to be true. It's not over. Why People are acting like Jalen Hurts died today. It's fine. He's going to be okay. The fact that he was able to finish that game. There you go. He was throwing to Jalen Rager. Yeah, that, and he still threw four touchdowns. Mm. Uh, Texas boy. Who's this guy? Look at this. He's got the Texas logo. This guy right here, Texas boy, obviously a Cowboy fan. Um, probably wearing boots right now and some Wrangler jeans that don't fit. He went to Google, and he Googled Dallas Cowboys Texas logo. He found that thing. Control, right-click, saved it, put it in his profile. I'm just kidding. I don't want to hate on you. I like Texas. I, I, I went to Baylor. I was. I, I lived in Texas for a while. I don't hate Texas, but still, I agree. Um, no, don't don't sit all the starters. Come on, guys, don't sit all the starters. Don't sit all the starters. Uh, this guy is in every Eagles podcast. Mingshu is Cooper's. Pen. Good good comments here. Good comments here. All right, we'll do five more minutes. Five more minutes, and then I'm going to drop and going for over 45 minutes here. Any more questions? Any more super chats? Get them in now. Um, and then, of course, be sure to subscribe and thumbs up the show. we got plenty more stuff to come up on the show. We're going to have – I'm sure there will be more updates and more developments, and I'll get that to you guys as best I can. I just want to jump on here and go back and forth, right? Um, let's see. I wouldn't sit all the starters. No, 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 no. You, 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 you play the starters on Saturday. You try and beat the Cowboys. If you beat the Cowboys, you lock up the number one overall seed and the NFC East, and you're fine, right? Uh, you say he's out. He's probably out for Saturday, right? And I'll be honest, I made this headline before we actually had the final news because I was trying to go live as quickly as possible. So um, it looks like he's out for probably Saturday. My guess is, right, this is me guessing. He's out for Saturday. He's probably out next Sunday against the Saints. Minshew will start two. 
And then you could probably waltz Hertz out for either the week 18, or you just rest him the entire way until it's time for the playoffs, right? So probably out. Uh, Kyle, as we get ready to wrap things up here, we'll see how resilient our Eagles are this Saturday. I agree, 100%. This is going to be, this is a big test for everybody not named J Jalen Hurts. Tom Motto. That's good, Paul. Really, <laughs> that's good. Um, let's see here. A couple more. We're going gonna to go and wrap up today's show. I appreciate that each and every one of you guys. So be sure to go ahead uh, and subscribe. Be sure to go ahead and thumbs up. We'll play more stuff. We do NFL. We do Eagle stuff here. We go back and forth on this show. If you're brand new, I would appreciate the sub. We talk about a lot of stuff. Talk about the Cowboys today on the show. I mean, we just not just Eagle focus. It's Thomas Mott show. I'm going to talk about whatever I want. Thomas Mott show. That's me. I can do whatever I want. Um, yeah, this is gonna be the this is this is gonna be the question that we debate on this show and on 94 WIP and on blogs, bleeding Green Nation. I mean, everybody's gonna debate this question right here. Uh, he said we should play Hertz. Uh, we should have Hertz play at least a quarter so he stays fresh going into the bye. Wouldn't want to have him warm up in the divisional round. I agree. I agree. I, I think that that's gonna be the debate. When will he play? And I think he should play if he's healthy enough. He should play before the divisional round. That way, again, he's not w warming up for a full quarter. Can do. Super chat. Appreciate it. Understand the scenario. Nice to lock up the number one seed in Dallas. Yes. Yeah. I mean, come on. This is the whole idea. Everyone's saying that they don't want to, you know, lock up, the, they rest the starters and, oh, the we're doomed for Saturday. No. I, right now, would be hammering DraftKings Philadelphia plus six. I think Philadelphia plus six is a home run bet. You can bet that with DraftKings link. Selfish plug down below underneath me. But I would hammer that. I think, I think Philadelphia... Philadelphia should have been a touchdown favorite against Dallas with Jalen Hurts. Without Jalen Hurts, they should at least be Philadelphia plus six. I think they could lose. Obviously, they could. But I think they can win this football game. I think Minshew has nothing to lose. Gardner Minshew now has the ultimate dress rehearsal, or I should say ultimate live uh, interview on Saturday. Gardner Minshew is going to have a chance to show all 32 teams in the NFL on Saturday, how good he can be around with legit weapons around him. Because really, Gardner Minshew's never had legit weapons around him. He was a Jaguar, right? Come on, he was a Jaguar, balled out as a Jaguar, came to Philadelphia, went one and one, four touchdowns, one pick, thrown at Jalen Rager last year. Now he has the best offense in the entire, excuse me, National Football League. And Gardner Minshew has a chance to show everybody, hey, you know, I can be your guy. I can ball out. If he throws four touchdowns on Saturday, you're going to have a scenario where he's probably not going to be an Eagle next year because someone else is going to sign him. So this is the ultimate Christmas gift to Gardner Minshew, who has a chance to, I mean, dive back into the limelight with a big win in front of everybody. Every human on earth is going to watch this game on Saturday, and I hope he grabs it by the reins and wins this football game. I think he's going to ball out. I'm pumped. I think he's going to absolutely, absolutely ball out. Merry Christmas, Gardner Minshew. Merry Christmas, Gardner Minshew. Michael Lugo uh, Jr. agrees with that. 100%. 100%. All right. Be sure to subscribe. We're going to go ahead and wrap up. Thumbs up the show. Uh, check out the show from earlier today. We talked about Dallas Goddard. We talked about a lot of other stuff. If you guys want to join the channel, hit the join button down below. I'd appreciate that. And we will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Try to go as, you know, as, as, as raw as we could. No prep here. Just talking about what's going on. And uh, it sounds like Hertz is going to be okay. And that is really good news overall. So I'm Thomas Mott. It's been a very long, fun Thomas Mott show. We'll see you guys in the next one.